Hi, welcome back. My name is John Cohen, and today we're going to look at another quick tutorial on how to do today retouching. Um, this is not just the standard retouching, you know, YouTube tutorial. I use the Nick plugins to get the best uh, and easiest way to retouch because, to be honest, I am not a Photoshop expert. I'm not even really very good at Photoshop. But what I am good at is knowing what good looks like. So today we're going to use the Nick plugins and we're going to go and look at this picture. So when we look at this young lady who I was privileged enough to photograph, we can see there's some imperfection in her face. Um, there's some, I guess, raised areas. And we're going to go ahead and make that look a lot better. To start with, we're going to use the Define software from Nick, and we're going to just use the Skin um, plugin, which basically will, if I hit Fill here, it will basically soften the whole picture. Let's clear that for a sec. What we're going to do is we're just going to paint it in over her face. Uh, I have my opacity up to 100%, and let's just increase our brush size just a bit. And we're just going to paint it in, and we're obviously going to make sure we don't go over her eyes. Don't go over her hair. We're just going to look at some of these imperfections that uh, we're going to want to work on. So really quickly, we're just going to zoom over this. And we're going to... The software is just amazing. I mean, it just... It makes life so much easier. I've hired retouchers for years to come and retouch photos for me. And I can tell you that the work that they do is fantastic and... I give them a lot of credit, but there's a lot of times where I can't, uh, you know, wait for a retoucher to do the work for me, and I need to do it myself, or I need, uh, you know, a little different look than a retoucher is going to give me. So right away, here's our before, there's our after. You can already start to see the softening of her face, and let's just click apply. And the next thing we're going to do is going to go ahead and uh, use the color effects plugin, and we're just going to use the uh, Let's go with the dynamic skin softener. This is just going to add a little bit more softening. So go ahead and let's use the color checker here. Let's pick somewhere that's uh, not a highlight nor a low light. And uh, right off the bat, you can see what that's just done. So let's take a look before, after. And I have it set up for, let's go ahead and put the small details a little higher. So we want those little imperfections to show up or to get rid of, I should say. So there we are before, after, and you can see the nice part is it's only affecting her face, not the hair, not the wall, nothing behind, nothing anywhere else. So let's go ahead and click OK, and here we go. So let's just take a look. There's a nice little effect. So now she's getting a little bit too soft, and uh, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and bring back some details, uh, you know, make it look a little bit more human-esque. So we're going to use a tonal contrast. I like using this tool, um, and I like blowing out this tool and brushing it in softly as I see fit. So we're going to go ahead and pop in the highlights. We're going to work on that uh, area of her hair here, her eyes, her uh, beautiful eyelashes, her eyebrows. And uh, we're also going to play a little bit with the wall and see if we like what the wall is doing. Because um, it does change, it does shift in color, as you can see here. And again, we're going to brush that in selectively so we can uh, take advantage to where we want to see the best changes. So let's go ahead and make that brush a little larger. Let's go ahead and paint in her hair. And you can really see right away the difference that the, the hair is getting. Beautiful color, beautiful shade. You can start to see detail in the hair. Next thing, let's just go over to the eyes. Let's go ahead and pop into those eyes. Those beautiful, beautiful eyes and her eyebrows. And then we'll go in. Here's one of the ones where you always want to try to make the nose a little bit sharper. I like the nose a little sharper. Now, for the lips, I'm going to drop this down a lot because the lips will be affected big time. So let's just give it a little bit of more of a feel. And now the last part is that wall. So let's go back up to 100% here opacity. And let's just work on this wall. And I don't, you know, it might be a little bit too much at 100%. Let's drop that down just a little so we're not taking away from her. We're going to paint back some of that. 
little darker just so we get a little bit better feel all right so let's hit apply let's take a look at the before and the after that was a huge difference as you can see now the last thing we're going to do and it's a weird one and people look at me all the time funny when i sort of say let's use it we're going to use the infrared film and all we're going to use this for is to go ahead and bump up the eyes the whites in the eyes uh, and we're going to add a little bit of specular highlights on her lips and, and on her eyelids and all those beautiful areas. So even though this looks kind of strange right now, we're just going to brush it in. And here's one of those places where you may want to leave the opacity at about 50% to start with and work from there up. So we're going to go ahead, let's, uh, let's just very quickly, and again, you may want to do this a little bit slower if... Uh, you know, if you're really uh, on it. So let's just go ahead and bump that back. So let's take that back. And yeah. Now I can see on this one, I didn't go high enough on the whites because it's getting a gray tinge. So what I'm going to do is we're going to just actually discard that and we're going to do that one more time. And let's go a little bit brighter on the whites here. And the nice part is it actually brings back the where it was before. So I can see that I want these to actually be brighter. And let's go ahead and try that again. Let's brush that in. Let's zoom in. And she is wearing contacts and we can't avoid the fact that there's going to be some lines for contact. So there we go. You can see it getting a little whiter. And a lot whiter. And let's go to the other eye. Whoops. And let's brush in that. Nice and quickly. Make that a little smaller. Just get right in there. Now, and what we're going to do is we're going to add a little specular highlight to her eyes. And let's go zoom out again. And let's just add a little bit more specular highlights into her lips. That's a little bit too much. Let's go a little smaller and a little lower opacity. And there we go. Let's zoom out. And let's take a look at that before and after for a sec. And let's hit apply. So really in quickly four or five steps, we uh, we started with a image that looked like this, and we ended it with an image that looks like that. Now, I may have gone a little bit too far but on the skin softening, but that was more because with these videos, people sometimes can't see the detail, the fine detail change. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please feel free to follow on Twitter, and stay tuned for some more videos. Feedback is always welcome. Thank you.